Hi everyone and welcome back to Rich Reviews and welcome to my garage. I'm doing this video in the garage for obvious reasons because we've got the 458 here and the video today is going to be 2020 a year in review. This is the first review year for Rich Reviews. We'll be doing one of these every, every year on an annual basis. It's 89% humidity in the garage at the moment and 1.2 degrees. Here in the UK we're in the midst of winter and it's pretty cold at the moment. Um, you will have noticed the content on me um, getting the or working out how to prepare this garage so that so we reduce humidity so obviously it's a better environment for the car um, and it's actually a warmer environment to be for training because myself and my son also use this as a as a mini gym and the section you can't see which is from here forwards uh, we use as a gym so we've got some dumbbells in here etc um, so it's we need it to be a little bit warmer as well and obviously reduction in humidity with 89 percent so uh, it's been a, a a bizarre year it's been a cool year a bizarre year um, very interesting year we started the rich reviews channel in february 2020 um, amidst fears of you great youtube stardom way but with realistic views that it's going to take a long time to grow the channel and any stardom coming downstream would be um, a great asset and an addition to creating content. The initial thought process on the channel was to guide it around my experience, my knowledge base. I'm got, I've got quite a lot of experience both in sports nutrition and obviously in cars. And I'm very good throughout my, throughout my lifetime. I've been very good and very known for it among my friends for reviewing equipment and for being very pedantic about ensuring that whenever I purchase anything, that I purchase the, the best quality I possibly can, I can afford, and also to make sure that I, I never um, cock up a purchase, <laughs> that whenever I purchase anything, it's it's fit for purpose, it's the right thing, and, I, and I've got no buyer's remorse. So I spend a lot of time researching, hence why the channel name Rich Reviews was born. And then after creating uh, an initial one or two videos, um, my son and I decided that, well, we've got this 993, let's start creating a lot of content on the 993. Obviously, having owned and obviously owning the 993 since 2008, it would be a great subject matter. Myself and my son, we watch a lot of uh, YouTube content on cars, so we decided it was a good way to go. So we started creating content on the 993S. I believe that was around the May time, February around March time. I know. When when did you start creating content? It wasn't me. It wasn't me on the on the car. Yeah. So we started creating content on the 993S around May time, and of course in March previous to May we'd had bang, big changes to us all. Covid hit, or the perception of Covid causing us a major major um, issue across the world and and being qualified as a pandemic. So we were we spending a lot of time at home, working from home. Um, I'm a freelance technical consultant so I work mostly to the financials so I was I was working from home and we thought well we're working from home the ideal situation is to start creating content on the 993s and because we're both into cars me and my son and you know we, we were always thinking about maybe the channel should move in the direction of cars of being focused on on cars and supercars and sports cars and such like so we thought we'd create content on the 993 so uh, Initially, we just started initial content on washing the car because I'm very fastidious in how I do things. I've had that car since 2008, as you would have seen from the videos. So we started off by uh, creating the content on just washing the car and the fastidiousness of me <laughs> and how I look after the car and how I wash the car. Um, and uh, we thought, okay, well, let's create content going forward on the actual changes that I've made to the car. We decided to create content on the PPFing of the car, the reimagination of the suspension, pros and cons of the interior of the car and of the, and the top 10 of the actual car itself. And then around that time, we had a thought about, okay, well, am I gonna keep this car all my life? You know, is this, is this gonna be it? Am I gonna, you know, do I ever want to buy uh, any other type of, of sports car or supercar? And we, myself and my son, we always always discussed about owning a Ferrari, and my my dream was always to own a 355, a GTS 355. Um, but I I'd, I'd looked at owning a 355 for about five to seven years, and it was just a nightmare, and it was always going to be perceived as a nightmare on maintenance. So I I I sort of looked at it, gone back, looked at it, gone back, um, 
and then we started thinking about a 458 and a 458 Spider, um, and that became a viable solution just the more I thought about it the more it became a more reliable more logical solution and to use the 458 spider in a similar way as I used the 993s in effect pretty much as a garage queen but drive it in in great weather and enjoy the car take it to shows and such like so we thought okay let's put a plan in place so we put a plan in place to sell the 993 um, and to procure a 458 but had to sell the 993 for the correct amount to make it feasible um, to be able to purchase the 458. Uh, bizarrely somebody got in touch through the channel um, who was a, a, an avid viewer of the content on the channel of the 993 um, and just by pure luck and they decided to buy the 993. Won't go into all the ins and outs of that but um, actually the 993 went to a, a great owner um, somebody who's really looking after the car and just could not have gone to a better owner it just could not have gone better that, that situation so um, I won't mention his name, as I said before, that's that's personal to him. But uh, thank you, You'll, you know who you are. Thank you very much for looking after 993 and for being a, a great person to own it because I was, I was very keen for the car to transition across to somebody who would look after it the same that I would. So we did the content on the 993. Um, also, t um, sort of towards the end of the content of the 993, I started doing a few vlogs. Uh, I started to do some videos on my watch content um, and also, um, started to uh, do some content on or we've recently started to do some content on on exercise and training so my normal subscribers and those people who don't know me um, won't know about the other experience that I have so from an early age I trained and competed in, in some very tough sports I'm a qualified martial arts instructor qualified skiing instructor um, trained and competed in other sports mountain bike competing um, stages of the Tour de France for attacks and yada 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 so I've, so I've done a, a quite a lot in my lifetime on the sports side so it's logical that I would create some some content on on training on exercise and on nutrition um, so there's a few videos that have been done on on training and nutrition um, I believe one of them is breakfast of champions that I did didn't get many views so it doesn't look like you guys are too keen on keeping yourself nutritionally fit but there you go it's people like supercars and that's what we've realized that's why we focused on creating most of the content on supercars previous to the the decision to sell a 993 and previous to the decision to actually finalize on purchasing a 458 just on the off chance, we went to Dick Lovitz in Swindon. We thought we'd just have a look around, see what they've got there. And I found myself when I, um, because we were in COVID situation, or we were, we weren't in lockdown, but we were in um, in a, a an appointment only uh, situation um, with with regards to retailers such as uh, such as Dick Lovitz. So found myself saying to the receptionist when we were asked uh, what we wanted to um, come in and, and, and visit about um, was uh, about 458, which is something that came out of my head. So I said 458 Spider. Um, and so we went in and we and started the relationship with Richard Hatton at Dick Lovitz. Um, you'll know Richard Hatton from the collection video. So um, couldn't be a nicer guy to liaise with. And hopefully you know I can call myself and call call Richard a friend now to, to some level so we went there we had a look at um, what they had in stock and had just had a general chat about um, about the, the possibilities on cars and talked about 458 and uh, I was told that uh, they actually had a 458 spider coming in possibly in the next week or so they were still um, finalizing the agreement finalizing terms on the exchange on on purchasing the car and Cut long story short, following week we went and had a look at the car that they then had in stock. It was a great example of 458 Spider. Um, had a look around the car, it was in Rosso Corsa Red with a black interior. And test drove the car and that was it, I was hooked. Um, driving that car is just like a drug. Um, just thought I've got to make this work in however I can, you know, got to make this work. It's just a phenomenal car, the sound. Uh, the performance uh, with the top down, the look, the sound, the performance, just just incredible sensual overload, stunning car. And I just thought, well, if I'm going to come out of the 993, then this is the car to go into. Um, and then, of course, you've got to try and make it work on all levels, both financially and maintenance level and, you know, everything else. So um, I had a discussion about what the options were with regards to um, going forward um, with with uh, Dick Lovitz and obviously I decided upon that I'd need to sell my car, I need to sell my 993S to make it financially viable. Uh, financing is 
not for me. I know there's good reasons for keeping cash to one side and, and using cash for business opportunities and maybe financing cars. I know a lot of YouTubers finance cars. Well, um, it's not really for me. Um, and like I say, I'm not knocking financing. It does work for, for a lot of people in many ways, but um, it wasn't something, it wasn't the path that I wanted to go down. And just around that time, as, the, as I said, um, somebody got in touch about the car and um, the car was sold. Um, the car was sold on the, it actually left my, left my property on the 18th of September and the deal couldn't have gone smoother. Nicest, nicest guy possible who bought the car and really looking after the car, as I said. Um, and then it was a case of finding the right 458 Spider, And just everything just seemed to slot into place. I mean, the, the perfect 458 Spider came up and we reviewed it, we looked at it. There was another one that I did look at or was looking at in Ireland, um, but this one then came up and it was just the perfect spec and the, the price was right, um, perfect specification. It just all fell into place. So we ended up buying buying this, buying this, the car that you see behind you, the 458 Spider, Russell Corsa, black in, Nero black interior. Um, could you, Pretty much you couldn't have a higher specification on it with regards to the carbon, lift, and, you know, uh, upgraded to JBL stereo, everything else, just, just fantastic option, just over 5,000 miles, so low mileage as well. 2015, last of 2015 build, so still got two years left of the seven year warranty, just everything fell into place. It was just great. So um, so that's it, we, we, you know, that was, that's the biggest change obviously for 2020 for us, the, the change from having the, the 993S um, over to a, a Ferrari 458 Spider. And yay, I own a Ferrari now. I didn't think it was ever gonna happen, but yeah, did we own a Ferrari? Um, so that was, that was the biggest transition in, in 2020. Um, and uh, you'll notice from the collection video, um, if you haven't watched it, then check below the links to the videos and links to the playlists are below. They're all, they're all ordered in within playlists. So um, please feel free to, to check on the content below. And um, yeah, so, so the, a great culmination in, 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 um, in the year was uh, purchasing the 458 and um, great getting that deal done. So it was, it was a big, big worry selling the 993S. I mean, I'd had that car since 2008 and uh, yeah, I found it very, very hard to let go. And I'll always have a place in the, that car. Will always have a place in my heart. Absolutely love that car, and still do. And it's weird to think that it's gone now, and, and, and I do miss it. But uh, maybe I'll get a 993S at some point in the future. Who knows? But I'll have to have a bigger garage, as, as you can see. So um, if, if you're enjoying the content, please think about subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please click like if you like this. If you like this video. Um, what I should have mentioned earlier on is that uh, we're looking to really grow the channel in 2021. Um, we want to get um, this channel monetized um, for obvious reasons. Um, so we'll need 1,000 subscribers minimum. So that's our challenge and that's our target for 2021 to grow the channel to a minimum of 1,000 subscribers. So please guys, if you're, if you're not subscribed already, please think about subscribing. We have a crazy percentage of around 90% of the viewers of this channel aren't actually subscribed. So if just a small percentage of you guys can just subscribe um, and select all for notifications, then um, then that will really start moving the channel forward. Obviously only if you like the content, um, but uh, yeah, please think about subscribing. So downstream from purchasing the 458, creating the content on the 458, um, we also had a, had a few visits to some car shows during the year. Uh, most, most noticeable events are the certainly the club driving that Dick Lovett have, which I'm, I'm very proud to be a member of that very small and elite club. Um, so we went to Cinder Car, um, Cinder Club driving. So we went to Cinder Club Drive-In, um, had, had pretty much sold the 993 then, so or we had sold the 993 then, so took the um, the other, the secondary car that I have, which is the Fiat Abar 500 SS, so we took that to the drive-in. That was a great event, uh, they played the Italian job and that was during the, the COVID situation. We weren't in lockdown, but it was during COVID restrictions, so we had to keep our distance, etc. And then um, also during that period, um, and previous to the actual purchase of the 458, we did some test drives on some cars and we were very fortunate to be invited by Dick Lovett to test drive the F8 Tributo. 
The test drive of the FA Tributo was interesting. Um, first of all, the car that I was allocated was in matte black. Guess what my worst color is for a supercar? Matte black, yep. And what car was I allocated? The one F8 Tributo that was in matte black. But obviously that doesn't really matter. It was an awesome experience. Thanks again for Dick Lovett for that absolutely fantastic experience. And drove the F8 Tributo. It was also with a racing driver. So you had a racing driver sat beside you who was guiding you and, um, and coaching you to some level. Awesome experience in the F8 Tributo, awesome car. The performance on it is just outstanding, you know, it's just incredible. How much of that performance you can actually put down on the road is quite another thing. So the F8 Tributo is a 3.9 litre twin turbo V8, 710 horsepower and does circa 211 miles per hour. How much of that power you can get down onto the road? Well, um, not all of it, that's for sure. It's a fantastic car, as I've said. Awesome overtaking experience. Acceleration is phenomenal. For me, the car was wide. Um, people will be saying, okay, it's not much wider than the 458 um, axle width, but it just seems a lot wider and, and it seems a big footprint. But, um, so phenomenal car, fantastic experience, but the, the FA Tributo, for me personally, I know this is going to have divided opinions, but for me, totally lacked the soul. The experience in the 458 Spider was just awesome. Sensory overload, which is an awesome experience all around. The speed, the, the overall performance, the road holding, uh, the sound, the visceral sound of the 458. The FX Tributo just didn't have that soul, just didn't have that experience. Um, not to mention, of course, that the financial outlay for the F8 was just wasn't feasible for me anyway for the FX Tributo. Didn't really consider the 488 because, um, again, the first turbo model of the mid-engine cars for Ferrari, um, so it was going to be really the 458 Spider. Also, during that period of time, we had an invite to test drive the Taycan. So we went across and, and test drove the Taycan as well. And as you will see from the video, again, check the videos below if you haven't seen already. Taycan Turbo S we drove was an incredible experience. I mean, that torque all in one go, straight, straight as soon as you hit that loud pedal, absolutely awesome. Incredible, incredible. And the car felt very agile considering it's so heavy and with the, with the battery load that you have to have in those cars and those electric vehicles. Um, great road holding, great feel on, on, this, on the steering considering, as, as I said, the, the weight of the car. Um, awesome acceleration and awesome braking, you know, so it did make me think, I must admit. I mean, I'd sold my, set my heart on the 458 Spider, but it did make me think when I drove that Taken Turbo S. Um, of course, you never really know how much they're going to drop in value. I've got to, I've got to consider residuals, unfortunately, you know, because um, a lot of money invested in this car, and I've got to make sure, you know, at some point, probably, I'll need to get the money out of the car and, and sell the car. So, um, you know, I'm not a wealthy person, um, so there's a lot of money invested in there. Downstream from from those car events, we also um, had a fantastic trip out with the with the Porsche guys from Region 16, who've been my my friends, you know, since I've had the car in 2008. Um, the Porsche car and we went to the Loire Valley in Wales and had a fantastic um, road trip there it was, it was a it was a really great time So thanks a lot to Stuart and Elaine for organising that. Hopefully they're uh, they're watching this video. Um, so um, and I'm going to stay with the Porsche guys. I've, I've um, had an agreement from Stuart that I can become a. a I can't remember what the actual type of membership is called, but it's like an alliance membership. I can still stay with a group and uh, still go on events. And uh, they're, they're quite happy for the 458 to come on some events with them. So it's really good. They're a really nice bunch of guys. If you're considering joining the Porsche Owners Club and if you're in this area, then sign up to Region 16. You can't do better in Stuart and Elaine. And a great group as well. The, the rest of the guys there in, in, in our region are very good as well. So downstream from the 
from the purchase of the 458. Obviously the collection of the 458 being an astronomical day, um, phenomenal experience and m made all the better by, by um, Richard Hatton at Dig Love It. Fantastic experience. He, he could not have done more for me. It was, it was a great event. After that then created some content on, so on my watch collection. Um, I'm into horology as well and uh, some changes in the watch collection as well, documented some changes in the watch collection, a trip to London uh, to sell the BLNR GMT2 Batman and also um, a subsequent video to come with an addition to the watch collection. So uh, keep your eyes peeled, video coming soon. So that's pretty much it. That's our year in review, you know, interspersed with, with um, two lockdowns during the period of 2020. And we're now in our third lockdown as well in 2021, which um, sort of has, has bridged 20, the end of 2020. Um, very bizarre times and uh, a surreal year for me, really. Um, big, big changes in the year. Um, biggest change obviously being the, the sale of the 993S and the procurement of the 458 Spider. So I'm going to close the video out now. Um, it's been a fantastic year in many ways. It's been a sad year for many people. For those who've lost loved ones throughout the year, then my heart goes out to you. I lost my parents, both my parents in 2008, 2009. So I feel for you. So if you'd like the content for the year and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you select like. If you're not subscribed, then please think about subscribing. We've got some fantastic content to come in 2021. And as a reminder again, we're gonna smash through that 1,000 subscribers barrier this year. So uh, we really need to move that forward. We wanna get the 1,000 subscribers. That's a real big target for us for this year, for 2021, and to move this channel forward. Please make sure you share the, share the content to your friends, your cats, your dogs, your animals, anybody um, going forward. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a great 2021. Happy New Year to everybody. And best wishes, best health going forward. Take care guys, we'll see you in the next video.